This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Carbonite. I'm a f kind of a fan of the iMac and all-in-one PCs in general, uh, but Windows 8 and an all-in-one with a touchscreen is the bomb. Enter this. It looks a little flat right now. Lenovo's Idea Center A720 all-in-one <laughs> PC. Let me stand this up into normal computers. Just Let me mode. make some room here. Yeah, this, thank you. This is the Lenovo Idea Center A720 all-in-one mini PC. As you can see, it's a 27-inch flat panel with a Core i5 3210M, 6 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, an NVIDIA GeForce GT 630M, and a touchscreen, which makes it rather different from the new iMac. Because <laughs> any, anytime anybody sees an all-in-one, yeah. I'm not going to go like, well, it's an iMac clone. There were all-in-ones before the iMac. But this is pretty cool, right? So we've got Windows 8 going on here, which usually changes when I actually start touching things. We've got a really good-looking touchscreen up here. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah, it is actually <laughs> fun. And I I actually really love the fact that you can actually lower it down to like five degrees. This, Ooh. this is like one of the coolest desktop moments. That. Yes, you could. Don't. I won't do that. At least not until it's out of my hands. <laughs> um, let me tip this up a little bit. We've got a uh, Blu-ray slot or an optional Blu-ray slot here on the side. Nice. And uh, if I turn it around to the other side, uh, your uh, card reader, and let me spin this around we'll really hold quickly. Your power cord for you. Thank you, sir. And it's kind of funny, right? There's an external power brick. Almost all all-in-ones are essentially notebook motherboards, you know, buried inside of a monitor next to it. We've got Ethernet on the back, HDMI in, HDMI out, and then it has uh, USB oh, cool. 3.0, 2.0. Uh, it's a really actually healthy. I doubt you're going to be able to record off that port. However, that would be a pass through. So if you want to connect yeah. an external device to this display and use it, there well, you go. this would be. It's kind of funny, right? This is an interesting computer. Sixteen hundred bucks at Best Buy. It's a little bit less than an iMac, uh, with also a little bit slower CPU and graphics. I wish this had a higher resolution. Uh, 1080p is fine, uh, but 2560 by 1440, like the 27 inch iMacs, would be much better. Yeah. I love. In terms of using a computer up close, the 2560. Uh, it's just. It's awesome. That pixel density yeah. just makes things it, more window-like than you're going to get out of a 1080p display at this close, at this uh, size. Well, it's, uh, we should also point out that the iMac, of course, does not have a touch screen. Um, but it's interesting. Dell's doing these. Uh, HP, I want to say, is doing these. Lenovo, I actually really like. This is a solid computer. i got to say props to Lenovo for the Idea Center uh, A720. Solid build, good feel, excellent options. There's a, you can basically spend up to like three grand on these depending on how unhinged you want to get, like a 256 gigabyte SSD, one terabyte SSD, excuse me, one terabyte Ooh. hard drive, oh, okay. standard. Okay, there you go. SSDs are optional and <laughs> add to the price. Let me, let me get that Just straight. A little bit. Um, you know, the only downside I see is I'd like a little bit more resolution on the screen, the higher resolution, and you are going to have a wall wart. Because oh. uh, essentially it's a notebook with an external power supply. Still though, the, quiet. The, this concept of a touchscreen display, I think we're going to see more yeah. and more of this, uh, especially coming out for CES in January. I think these are going to be everywhere at CES. Oopa. But even, whoops, and I just pulled the power cord out. <laughs> one, one, <laughs> one thing not like a notebook. Yeah, but I got to say, I actually did a really good job with the cooling because the cooling so far has not been loud. That's important, and, especially if you're using a device this close up and yes. with all the compact electronics. Uh, the nice i5 processor, you could generate a little bit of heat in there. Big honk and vents. Uh, hopefully, little idea center. I have not crushed your spirit by pulling your power cord, and you will no. reboot safely. That but I like. This playing with maps. I'm Bye. such a map nerd. <laughs> Angry <laughs> birds. <laughs> Angry birds. No. Oh no! There went the afternoon. We're going to come back to a little <laughs> HD Nation. We got our top five Blu-rays of the year, and Mr. Heron has an affordable 46-inch Samsung HD TV for you to check out. Right now, though, we got to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. If you haven't backed up your PC's data, you're begging for trouble, trauma, emotional suffering because you lost your data. That's why we recommend you use Carbonite Online Backup. Carbonite Online Backup, it's simple, automatically backs up your computer files away from your home. Sure, your computer's at home, but the data that's being backed up by Carbonite off-site and safe out there in the cloud. You set it up once, Carbonite's gonna protect your computer files so you can stay focused on running your business or running your life. No extra hardware required, it's simple. Matter of fact, getting your lost files back, super easy. You can even access backed up files on a smartphone or iPad with a free Carbonite app. Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home office or small business. And do us a favor, start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code TECHZILLA today and you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is TechZilla. Check it out, people. Get your data all safeified.